Good morning. Today you find me on the North Norfolk coast. I've come up to this part of East Anglia to run a half marathon along the Norfolk coastal path. We're just waiting for the coach to take us to the start. So come with me and enjoy the journey. Chuffed to bits. Isn't it amazing? Buns of steel and liver transplant sand. <laughs> at last <laughs> if I'd known the bus was going to be half an hour late I would have had breakfast at the hotel <laughs> but hey ho oh, So the run is organised by Positive Steps, which is an organisation based in Bury St Edmunds that do a lot of Nordic walking. So there's quite a lot of walkers on the route today. If you've heard of the 18 mile Bury to Clare challenge, that's another Positive Steps event. This run is on the North Norfolk coastal path. I think it's about 80 miles of coastal path along this amazing Norfolk coast. So the run begins in Burnham Overy State. I'll write it down, which you can see behind me. Morning. And let me just read you a description of Burnham Overy State, which I read. There are no kiosks, no ice cream stands, no beach bars and beach huts, nothing but the sea and the sand, just perfect. What's your name? Liz. So I'm running with Liz at the moment, who, small world, was actually running the Harvest Trail organised by Royston Runners last week. So here we <laughs> But hilly. <laughs> Do you know, the last mile is super hilly. <laughs> yes. And every marshal I came to said, You're doing great, this is the last hill. Yeah. And the first time I was like, Oh, thank you, thank you. Back hill six. <laughs> After that, there were some choice words exchanged between me and a very nice young man. He was quite apologetic for his co marshal. Got to be a bit careful about pushing too hard to begin with because this uh, this run whilst it's a half marathon I'm going to try and do I'm going to try and do more at the end so I'm going to run the half take me a medal and then hopefully go on and do another five six miles afterwards take it up to 18 19 but I'll edit that bit out if I don't feel up to it Now a bit of pine forest, still with sand. You see bamboo growing there. What birds we see here? Well, it says waders, warblers, and tits. I'm sure I remember a nightclub that was called that. Still going through the Holcomb Nature Reserve. And according to the map, away to our right through there, between here and the sea, is a naturist beach. Mm, who knew? Thank you.
the sun's come out, which is nice. You see, I've taken my t-shirt off. Compared to how it started this morning with wind and rain as I left my hotel, it's just lovely. A little warm now. So I've just got to consider that, keeping the heart rate sensible. We've just hit four and a half miles, so that's just over a third of the way or a quarter of the way if I do carry on and do that extra bit. It's lovely, well, it's lovely running through these pine woods with the sun coming down through the trees. But what a casual walk I won't know, or just the other side of these pine woods is a beautiful, great sandy beach called Holcomb Gap, I think. So we're now heading towards Wells next to sea, which is, as you can see, somewhat more popular. Ooh. So now we're on a seawall by all accounts. You can see the marshes away there in the distance. Looking beautiful in the sunshine, but I bet you on a, a winter's day when the north wind's coming howling in from there, you feel it. I haven't spotted it yet. There's a lifeboat station and a very popular miniature railway just near here. I'm guessing this might be the former lifeboat station. And just out there in the harbour, you'll see a sculpture in the water called the lifeboat horse. It's made of steel and whiskey barrels. There it is. And that's to commemorate the horses that used to pull the lifeboat two miles from here to Holcomb Gap. There you go. Amusements, casino and ice cream. Seaside rock. Bakery. Just need a pub and I'm in 7th heaven. Cheers fella. You might remember in the video from Bath, the uh, crane stacks at the top of the warehouses. Well, here you've got another one. The warehouses and mill buildings on the right and the crane would pick things up from the the haulage barges and boats below. And lobster pots. Thank you. Oh. That was hard, didn't it? Look. So you've got this kind of harbour here, natural harbour, and we're running on the sea wall, which protects that land over there from being flooded. You can tell by the plant life that it does flood sometimes, but this bit on this side is absolutely perfect for bird life and wildfowl. This uh, North Norfolk coast is incredibly important for migratory birds that come from the north and pause here and fatten up before a long run down to well, Africa, some of them. marshy land away to the left which I think it's called Wareham Marshes or something like that and we're just on the bouncy mossy marshy bit heart rate at 160 so I'm just doing a bit of walking just to bring it down a little bit I don't feel too bad sweating quite a lot but I don't feel too bad but we're only nearly at nine miles Four to go on the half, which is quite manageable, but if I'm going to actually do another nine or another eight, then I just need to watch that heart rate. So I'll let it get down below 150 and then we'll, we'll crack on again. The next place we're going to come to is spelt stiff key. And some would tell you it's pronounced Stiffkey, and there are many others who'll tell you it's actually pronounced Stooky. Like many counties, Norfolk is not shy of making place names that are not pronounced as they're spelt. 
just scroll through a few for you now. There's four obvious ones that sprang to mind. Uh, and I'll, uh, I'll tell you how we pronounce these a little bit later on. This mud smells. These uh, stinky marshes or stiff key marshes, depending on your point of view, absolute haven for wading birds. They're of outstanding natural beauty. And also home to the famous Stooky Blues, which are the cockles, clams, vongoli, that uh, the shells have gone blue because of the mud they eat here. I think this part is called the Stooky Freshes and it's too shallow to use boats without board motors so they have real flat, flat drafted boats that they drag round by person or by horse uh, to get the mussels. So what about those place names that I mentioned? How do we pronounce them? Well we already know about Stooky and the other three, well it's Tackleston Wyndham and Haysborough. That should confuse those out of towners that can't speak Norfolk. One of the reasons that these Stooky marshes are so fertile and so popular with the wading birds is that they're protected from the north wind of the North Sea by Blakeney Point. You can't really see it. I'll see if I can grab a shot from a map and put it on the screen for you, but Blakeney Point is a big spit of land that juts out to the north of here. It's actually home to the UK's largest colony of grey seals. Go on, you can do it. No, no. Is, is it that way? What? Well, we've all gone wrong apparently, so uh, thank you. There's somebody who knows where he's going. Thanks, Andy. Yeah, yeah, my wife to find the finish. Thank you. Thank you. So, oh, the finish funnel. There we are. That was the finish. So 12.9. Thanks mate. Hello, thank you. Half indeed. So I've changed my top. My Royston runner's vest was absolutely sudden. I've uh, had a quick half litre of energy drink and a Bit of chocolate, on we go. You can probably tell from the sloshing that I topped up my bladder, but, well, the bladder on my back. I emptied my other bladder. And uh, yeah, this is looking much more easy running. I just heard a curlew, which I thought, it's a bird I recognize. It's the one that sort of goes. Something like that. Anyway, if you hear a bird doing that, that's probably a curlew. Fourteen and a half. This is Blakeney.
apparently 1960 is alive and well. So like we, like we saw with Wells next to sea, Blakeney is a, an inlet and they've got the, the town is in the protected end of the inlet and all the boats then can go out into the wild North Sea and do what they need to do. And it's from here that Blakeney Point heads out into the uh, sea. Oh, thank you. So I think I'm going to turn around now. We've got a lovely field here of beautiful cows and calves. Here's the big boy, what are you fella, you're a Simmental? I reckon you're a Simmental. Look at you, aren't you special? Thank you so much for joining me on this, this little run. We're nearly done now. If you've enjoyed it, why not give it a like and that then helps YouTube share it with other runners, which is always nice. And what's the next one? That's the usual question I get. Well, it's only two weeks away. In two weeks time, I'm heading down to South Wales, to the Gower Peninsula. And I'm doing a 23 mile run on the Gower Coastal Path. So a lot more elevation than this and quite a lot farther if we've only done 18 miles today. And then two weeks after that, it's Beachy Head, 26 miles and a lot more elevation than Gower. So if you don't want to miss that one, you can always hit the subscribe button and the little notifications bell. And then you'll get an email as soon as I put the video out. But thank you very much for joining me on this one. Hope you've enjoyed it. And I look forward to seeing you all on another run very soon. Ta-da now!